Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Keystone Outback 340BH. This is an awesome bunkhouse layout. You have a ton of space in the main living area thanks to dual opposing slides and you have a triple bunk room in the back. And folks, because it's a Keystone Outback, this thing is loaded with amenities. Let's start off right over here on the campsite slide. One of the things you'll notice right away is the Thomas Paine collection dual recliners. And folks, this is straight across from the TV. That TV is on an elevator. I'll show you that in a little bit here. But this is fantastic. It lets you kick back and relax. And it's hard to, harder rather to get this set up in a bunkhouse where you have the theater seats straight across from a TV. So I love they were able to do it here. You'll also see some cup holders. You have a spot for your remote. And also over to this side is an electrical outlet, so if you need to you know, plug in your cell phone or tablet wire here, you can easily do that. MCD roller shades all the way throughout, so they're high-end roller shades. They're not going to bind up on you like your, you know, your, uh, like your pleated shades, so that's definitely nice. Plus, they are blackout, so not only does that give you privacy, but during the day, if you, you know, want to take a nap or something, you can definitely drop those down. You'll also see that in lieu of storage, they went with all windows in the slide, again, helping to open that space up as well as let in a lot of natural light during the day. Right over next to the theater seats is your dinette. Now, it's a campsite dinette, which again, I enjoy because this is the view I want. I want to look out to my campsite, not out at my neighbors when I'm having my uh, you know, morning breakfast, cup of coffee. And you can, as you can see, there is plenty of room for four people to easily sit here. The table does drop down. It's a, a dream style dinette, very simple and easy to use. You just flip a lever here, push that down, put the cushions on top, and then this again will create a sleeping space. Now, it's not huge as an adult, you know, you, it'll probably struggle to sleep there. You'll have to curl up a little bit, but it's great for children, or if you have a pack and play, you can toss that up there as well so it's out of the main walkway here. Directly behind me is some pantry space. You'll, you know, you see you have a massive kitchen in here. And they actually have a couple different pantries. This is just one of two. Uh, if you really needed to, you could use this for kids overflow. Uh, you know, it's, it, again, I would probably use it as a pantry just purely because of location, but you do have that versatility because as I mentioned, you have another pantry, which I'll show you in a little bit. You also see these all the way throughout. Uh, you can turn these off if you want, but it's nice to have the courtesy lights at night. So if the kids have to get up and use the bathroom in the middle of the night, the uh, aisle way is kind of lit. There's a couple of them throughout. Also, I don't know if I mentioned it, but the bottom of the dinette, that, that can light up here as well. In the kitchen itself, because you have dual opposing slides, that allows you to have a kitchen island in the center. And I love kitchen islands, uh, one, because they look really nice, but two, it provides a ton of prep space. You see you have all this right here, plus you have the drying rack on the sink, so you can use that for prep space as well. Beautiful, true solid surface countertops. You'll see that uh, kind of that two-tone faucet that they used, you know, giving it a, I don't know, a little bit nicer look. There's a lot of two-tone things going on in here with the wood. They kind of kept with that theme with the faucet. When you drop down, you'll see plenty of storage. Two full extension ball bearing drawers right up top. You'll see larger drawers underneath for some of your bigger items, so plenty of storage there. And underneath the sink, you will see a trash can. Now, the trash can is a little tight in this model. There's not quite as much room as I would like, but they did stuff it in there so you are able to use it, which is nice. You'll also see the light fixtures up top, kind of have that farmhouse look. It's kind of the theme they went with throughout the Outback. We'll see actually a barn door here a little bit later. And again, auxiliary lighting up top plus a skylight. You can open that up to let a bunch of natural light in during the day right above your center island, right where you want it. If you go to the off door side, in this slide, we finish off the kitchen. You have your Everchill 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator. So what that means is if you have two deep cycle batteries plus you have the uh, uh, solar, you can actually basically run this nonstop just off the batteries, which is pretty fantastic. Plus because it's compressor driven, it cools down a lot quicker than your standard RV refrigerator. Up top, storage there, microwave, you have the Furion kind of a little bit more modern and sleek hood. Underneath that, LED lights, of course, that subway tile, I love that, you know, nice and clean, elegant. Again, solid surface all the way throughout. Recessed three burner cooktop with the glass cover. This, of course, just folds up and back like that. The front burner is high output. Because it's the Furion, the knobs light up like so. And you will see this one has the larger oven underneath, so if you need to bake some things, uh, you know, this one does give you that bigger space for it. And underneath that, it also has a, uh, some additional storage. Now moving over, you want to talk about storage, there it is, plenty of storage for all of your pots and pans. And as I mentioned, 
the TV being straight across from the theater seating. So there it is, 50 inch TV. This does drop down the control for it. Oh, there it is, tucked away right here. So you can drop it down just like that, nice and easily. Big window behind it. So if you're not a TV person, you know, this is great because you can tuck it away. Grandkids come. Oh, sorry kids, we don't have any TV. Looks like we get to play outside, right? But uh, big window right there. Underneath is your, uh, this is a CD player. It's also your radio, Bluetooth capable, controls the speakers in here and outside. DVD player too, so you can toss a movie in there. Underneath that, nice big fireplace. You'll see how long it is, giving it, you know, again, a little bit more modern look and it kind of helps fill up that space. Not only does it look great, but that's also a space heater. So if you're at the campsite, you can plug into shore power. You don't want to, uh, you know, burn any propane. It's not that cold. Perfect, just turn this guy on. It's a big space heater. It'll help take the chill off in this space. And as I mentioned, you'll see the barn door right here, kind of bringing in that residential trend, you know, that kind of that farmhouse trend we've been seeing. Open this guy up and there you go. You have kind of a, another versatile storage space. So you have pantry space if you want. Also a big hanging rod up here if you want to hang clothes. It is lit as you can see right there. And I think this is kind of cool because you know if you put a door right here, you'd kind of struggle to swing that open with the slide fascia. That barn door works absolutely perfect. In the bunk room of the 340BH, there are three bunks. So you get the slide out right over to the one side. Nice big bunk over here, 300 pound weight capacity. Right underneath is a built-in ladder with storage behind it, so that way you're not wasting any space. Some additional storage to either side, as well as the storage right down below. And in the center is kind of the entertainment area. You'll see they have some holes drilled down, so if you have auxiliary equipment like a Blu-ray player, if you want to you know, throw in like an Xbox or PlayStation or something for the kids, that allows you to be able to do that. Right along the back, nice big window letting in natural light. Again, you have the blackout roller shade, so if you want to let the kiddos sleep in, it's an easy way to do it. Electrical outlet right down below, perfect for cell phones or tablets, or if you just need to plug in to vacuum back here if they're making a mess, you know, getting Pringles all over the floor, it, uh, it's nice and easy to vacuum up. As I mentioned, you have the slide on the off door side. The top bunk folds up just like so, that way you're not hitting your head as you're sitting in the sofa. This one drops down, 150, weight, uh, 150 pound weight capacity here, so uh, most adults probably couldn't use it, but it does still work for children. Underneath, this is actually a tri-fold sofa, which I like. A lot of times in your, in your bunk, uh, bunk house in the back, they'll just do a jackknife, which isn't the most comfortable, but this one, like I said, has a full-on tri-fold here, so you can actually sleep two adults back here, which in my opinion is pretty great. As we make our way back up toward the front, we enter the bathroom. Couple things here. First off, as far as the toilet. As you can see, I have plenty of room. My legs aren't touching, my shoulders aren't touching, I'm six foot tall, and I can uh, sit here all day if my wife would let me. Uh, the, the bowl here is porcelain as well. Great thing about that is it doesn't stain nearly as easy, and if it does, it is much, much easier to clean than a plastic one. Directly in front of me is a sink top and vanity. Now, it's not true solid surface in here, but most where most manufacturers would go to T-Mold, they did not. They did do the nice seamless countertop, so it still has uh, you know, a, a better durability to it as well as a better look. Of course, nice big bowl there, makes it easy to wash your hands, not gonna be splashing water everywhere. Storage underneath, a little bit over to the side as well as underneath here, so plumbing access. You might be able to fit a super tiny trash can in that little hole if you try, if you can find one small enough. Uh, electrical outlet, mirrored medicine cabinet up top. Again, your nice wood cabinet. It's not like a, an inexpensive plastic one that you see some manufacturers using. The shower itself, again, plenty of room here. You have the barreled ceiling, which, you know, the, the lowest part of the ceiling will be right against the walls, of course, but being six foot tall, I still have no problem. I can walk around all over in the shower. I can stand sideways and, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit wider in the shoulders and I have no problems here. You know, I'm not banging the door out or anything. No, uh, no issues whatsoever. It does come with a, an actual door, obviously, rather than a curtain. Uh, kind of an upgraded hand wand here as well. Of course, a shelf for your soap and shampoo there, but overall, just plenty of space. Now, as we make our way back out, you will see right up top, you have a coat rack as soon as you walk in, so you can come in, hang your jackets up. The door itself, this is kind of cool. You will see that it has a shade built in, so you know you can leave that open, so if someone comes and knocks on your door, you can see who's there. Or if you want, you can shut that down again to help uh, kind of keep the sun out. It also has the slingshot screen door, so that way, you know, if the kids, uh, if you have the door open, you're just using the screen, kids go out, they don't have to remember to shut the door. It will, the screen door will automatically shut itself. Just a nice little feature when you have kiddos. 
Thermostat tucked away right here. This does control both the ducted AC as well as the heat. Main control panel underneath. Obviously, everything you need is there from your water pump, heater, uh, all of your slides, power awning. It is worth mentioning that your water heater does run off both uh, propane and electric, and you can turn both of them on at the same time for faster recovery. The excellent features continue in the Outback 340 in the master bedroom. Right in the center, folks, you have a residential 60 by 80 queen size bed. A lot of times taller people struggle in campers because their feet hang off, but this is a full 80 inches long, just like you would have in your home. Also underneath, it is strut assisted. You will see you do have storage here, but the best part about it is if you have a pet, this is basically a pet kennel. So if you're leaving for the day, they, you know, it has an area where your dog can be able to hang out in there. You don't have to worry about them roaming around, getting into things, causing any mayhem. And plus, you know, most dogs, they, they like the comfort of having a home base. And that's exactly what this provides them. On both sides, you will notice right down below, you have a drawer there. It's actually a pretty solid nightstand underneath where a lot of times, you know, they use really thin paneling. This one's actually reinforced, which is great. Right above that, you have the mirrored wardrobe. You have a little space on the bottom, nice big wardrobe up top. Storage going all the way across the top there, LED lights. You have the shiplap looking uh, headboard. And on either side, they have a shelf built in with an electrical outlet. The one side has a couple USB ports, so it gives you a spot to be able to plug in a CPAP or charge your cell phones. Right up top, you'll see this one has a second AC. You have the fireplace, you're already running 50 amp. You might as well make sure that uh, whoever gets this is nice and comfy, and that's what that second AC will do. Also, if you do want a TV, you'll see your connections right here at the foot of the bed, and they did put a backer in the wall for it. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Keystone Outback 340BH. Right up front, folks, you have the BAL Auto Level. That's right, on a travel trailer, this is not just power stabilizer jacks, this is true auto level. It utilizes the tongue jack here, as well as the front power jacks. And then when we go to the back, you will see uh, something you see a lot on fifth wheels, the, the style of uh, jacks that they use. But literally all you have to do is touch a button and the coach will level itself out. You don't get much easier than that. Right behind that, you have two 30 pound propane tanks with a cover. You will also see rails there for your battery. Right in the front is a little light for your docking lights. You can see on the front cap, you have the light strip on the bottom as well as up top. Kind of like the faux window right here, but it gives a really great look. And you have the rock guard comes up nice and high on the sides. That'll help prevent uh, any rock chips or anything when they, those get thrown up by your tow vehicle. The other thing I love about this is it is a true front cap. You know, it, it's not a cheap thing to have. It definitely costs manufacturers a pretty penny to put them on there. I personally really enjoy it. And the reason being, for most travel trailers, the seam on the front end is right here. And so when you're traveling, if it's raining out, all that rain is beating right on the front end. But with the front cap, it actually wraps around to the side. So it helps prevent water in, uh, in intrusion because the water would literally have to get through the caulk, get in through the side behind the cap to get into the front end. More than likely, that's just not going to happen. Plus the front cap adds a little bit of air in there, so a little extra insulation value up front. When you walk around to the side, you'll see a covered hinge. That way you don't have a bunch of rust coming down your door. It is a slam latch, nice big heavy door, and it has a magnetic catch. And if you look inside, you will see that there is plenty of room here in this pass-through. It's not super wide, but it is pretty tall, so you can still fit some decent sized items in there. If you want a TV up front, this is where you'll hook it up at. Because it is a Keystone product, they utilize the Key TV, which is currently probably one of the easiest TV systems in the industry. Uh, so you have that there. You'll also see electrical outlet underneath. Obviously, you need to be able to power that TV. That gives you the capability to do it. Large power awning goes over your main entrance, also goes all the way over the slide. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. It has LED lights built right into it. You will see the skirting all the way underneath, kind of that diamond dash skirting there. Underneath the camper itself, you will see that it is enclosed. You can take a look at that there. So you have a fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly, which will help keep out a lot of road grime, while also hopefully some of the critters in the off season. And it'll keep things much warmer during the cold season because there is forced air blowing underneath there, helping prevent your lines and tanks from freezing up on you. The main entrance does use the LCI solid step system. Just like the name implies, it is a very solid step. I'm over 200 pounds. I can you know, run up and down on these things and they hardly move. You don't get that springboard effect that you get a lot of times with your standard pull-out steps. Also, it is aluminum treads, meaning that it's not gonna rust out on you. 
Little bit of grip tape on there, helps just a little if it's wet out. And you'll also see the large foldable grab handle giving you that extra control when entering the RV. So you make your way back a little bit further. We'll drop down right here. I just kind of want to show you. So aluminum alloy wheels, definitely beautiful. Stay looking beautiful for years because again, it doesn't rust. And right behind that, that's what I was talking about. So you can see your jack right there. That's a big part of your auto level system. So again, folks, you touch a button, it does the rest for you. You don't get much easier. Making our way to the back is the outside kitchen. Of course, propane quick connect right underneath. Now you can use your own grill if you want to, but the reason it's located right there is for your two burner cooktops. That way you can come out, set this guy up, plug it in, good to go cooking out here. But again, if you have a grill you'd rather use, you can set that up right there as well. You also have TV hook up here, so that we can hook it up. You know, put it, you have plenty of space there to put a, a smaller TV, which outside, it's all you really need. Or if you have a monster TV, you can set up a table over here, just move it over, you can do that too. Otherwise, you do have some decent prep space, especially if you're not using this, slide it in, you have all that space. Storage up top, LED light in case you're getting in there at night. The larger style refrigerator, uh, I like these bigger dormer fridges just because it gives you a spot to, uh, you know, basically or more room rather for your beverages, condiments, everything else that you want outside. Then you'll see the drawers here right underneath. Making your way around to the back. Square tubular bumper with end caps gives you a convenient spot to store your sewer hose. This right back here is for your key TV. That's your multi-source controller. Basically all that means is this is where you plug in your camp cable or your satellite and it will feed it to every single one of those outlets we saw. So you plug your cable in here, every one will have cable. So very simple and easy to use. Ladder here on the back. This allows you to quickly and easily climb up onto the fully walkable roof. Whether you're just getting up there for maintenance, take a look at it or just brush it off after you're done camping. That's a very convenient feature to have. And you'll also see right there in the center is backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, having the prep makes it easier to install, meaning it'll save you money on labor. On the off door side, you will see the docking station. This is essentially your water hookup. So you have outside shower, hot and cold water access, black tank flushed quickly and easily wash out your black tank instead of having to stick a hose down the toilet and also your water fill. So depending on how you have this little blue lever, and this position is just city water. So if you have city water hookup, obviously that's what you'll want. If you plan on going somewhere that does, doesn't have water hookup, you wanna flip this lever up and that will fill your fresh water tank. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2020 Keystone Outback 340BH. If you're interested in this beautiful bunk model and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and let's go camping.